Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. It's Sunday, so I am again outside taking a short trip, calling family members. As always, I like to combine walking and talking to people. So yeah, today I wanted to show, oh, I will show you something that I was planning on showing you last week. However, as I was not really feeling 100%, and also I was, well, having the Monday trip to Umeo. I did not want to risk too much, but now I can show you how bad the roads are. So you can see, okay, well, the middle where I'm walking on right now, that is not too bad. You have rocks on here and now, okay, it's also already melted so much that you can actually see the street. But on the way where you should walk, so on the side of the road, when there are cars coming, it is very slippery, okay? Now in this case, it is already again a bit nicer to walk on because it is melted. But down the way where I am living, it is terrible. It is not melted that much and it's just ice. So not nice to walk on those days. And also, secondly, um, we actually have so much fog already since yesterday or even the day before i don't know if this is because of the melting snow that we have so much water vapor in the air but just look you cannot really see anything okay this is maybe not the smartest example i can show you but i think on the spot where we are going to you will see that the visibility is very very low also inside when i will be looking out of my window you have basically no view yesterday it was so bad that i could basically see the road in front of my apartment but that was it nothing else i could not see the trains nor the the mountains the hills behind the lake oh crazy crazy world and that's why it's not really like, oh yeah, I want to go outside today and see something. It is, it is more like in the horror film scenarios. Foggy, the first birds are coming, but you don't know where's the next bear that might want to kill me. <laughs> no, but yeah, it is actually, it's, I would not say creepy, but it feels interesting, but not interesting to walk through just to look from a safe place ah, yeah one thing that i definitely can show you that happened yesterday before the mellow happening um i was actually making the second oomph a uh, um, vegetarian alternative so I, I was like i have to try it out one day after i did the other one so that i really have the memory of both to compare the flavors but well it was an unsurprising result however told in a surprising way but just see it yourself okay so i have now made the food and i am actually very very skeptic because when i did it the last time so it, yesterday for me um the smell was really, really good based on the spices and then consistency and the taste basically yeah, threw me off. Now, this is the original one and it is basically without any spices and it's the same thing. It's both the chunk brand of Oomph and yeah, so I decided to throw some spices on there to maybe give it a bit more flavor but i actually think this can just be worse so there it is i have it with rice again i also have some sauce on here so i hope this is not cheating too much okay i'm confused because it actually tastes better now i'm thinking did i just mess up the one yesterday because this one I actually had longer in the pan, so it was cooking longer. 
and maybe that is making it better like the consistency is very similar to the one from yesterday but the taste is not as bad it's actually very tasty of course it's not meat or whatever but it is good so wait let's let's try again because i'm confused okay so now i got the flavor that i had yesterday also this i don't know how you is it is it soy that has this this flavor this is a flavor that all those vegetarian alternatives have and now i could taste it but it was definitely not as strong as the one that i tried yesterday so weirdly to say this one is for right now the better one however as i said i'm not sure if i just messed up the one from yesterday but i would give this like a 7.5 out of 10 so definitely eatable and repeatable i will yeah definitely try to continue eating other um, types from the oomph brand and hopefully i will find my favorite sooner or later okay i have just finished the meal and i have to update my points because at the end it was so bad oh my gosh like i think in the beginning i had too much sauce and rice on there making this taste good but in the end it was just a plain thing and like i decreased my ranking from 7.5 down to 4.5 or 5 at maximum because like if you i was really like okay that is in the end it really was just this taste that i don't like so much but nothing else the consistency okay but the taste was so bad so i'm actually right now on the bridge that i always pass when i go to work I always was hoping that a train is passing under when I will be walking over it, especially when it's cold, because then you always have those, um, how do you call it, like the electricity going from the cables to the train. You always see those sparks flying and it sounds like something huge is coming, but I've never got it on video and it would be a very cool perspective to just like stand close to the bridge, see the train passing, the spike, uh, not the spikes, the sparks flying and it's somewhat symmetrical. I think it would have been a sh cool shot, but I don't think this is happening until we have the next winter. So in like five, six months, that sounds like a snow scooter. And I also hear some horses because the place where we are going to right now is actually a, I don't know if it's a racetrack or like a proving ground for horses but I also don't know if it's actually still that much visible due to the melting snow everywhere uh -huh, okay I can already see it I think I make this sound way more spectacular than it is really in the end but I was always like would be cool to see something there so let's see i also see that my camera is nearly dead of course um yeah but there it is let's see how much you can really see um no cars coming wonderful oh yeah look there is actually a horse right there Okay, I think this is the best map. Nope, it's not. But I hope you could see something because like that person right there on the horse, I don't know if this is just like a path, but it is two tracks next to each other. It's not just one way. 
it's two ways so i was like okay maybe you just like go for a sprint there with your horse i have no idea but it looks cool of course now it is not as cool as it was before because you can see like the melted snow the crown at uh, the ground the brownish grayish colors and not the white nice thing but yeah so i'm right now in the industrial zone it is not even five minutes till i reach work basically it's crazy that i basically just walk to work <laughs> on a sunday unfortunately i don't have my working card to get into the building but of course i cannot show you this is just like no never going to happen maybe if i would have like a permit to do something to promote the company but let's wait a few more years until i have yeah maybe the right and also the the trust to do things like that <laughs> Okay, and with this view now on those once very, very high snow piles that are still, yeah, I would say like two, three meters high, at least the one behind me, I think 2.5, maybe. Um, it is time to end the video. If you're wondering what did I do today? Well, not much. I cut the videos. I was planning a trip with friends, maybe over New Year's Eve but it is still in the making so i don't want to drop any details yet uh yeah and i might already just think about what i will actually take to germany for my short stay there especially the most um thing the most worrying thing i have to keep in mind is that the wi-fi at home is terrible so maybe i can upload videos already when i am at the airport in munich and also back in stockholm we will see how it goes but this is really now the end for today tomorrow it's time to work again so see you there bye bye